Okay, we're going to get started. Uh, if you prefer, you can wait outside. I'd rather stay here if you don't mind. I've studied some medicine. I've seen dead bodies. Oh. As you wish. No apparent hematoma on the body. Two broken fingernails on the right hand. Large hematoma on the back of the cranium. Uh, mm, fracture of the occipital bone. He cracked his head when he fell. Abnormal dilation in, um, both pupils. Why are his pupils dilated? What did he see before he died? Three knife wounds between the third and fifth ribs in the proximity of the heart. Uh, the blade was driven in deeply. Uh, the stabs seem to have been delivered from the front and moved from left to right. The murderer was left handed. One stab neatly cut the aorta. And the other two cut the left and right coronary arteries. He really didn't have a chance. The blade slipped right through the ribs to cut the arteries. Did he die immediately? No, it would be fairly slow. Probably at least three or four minutes. Uh, the time for the brain to stop functioning due to the lack of oxygen. Do you think the killer had some knowledge of anatomy? It's not impossible, but I doubt that someone who understood human anatomy would do this. You'd really have to be deranged to want to provoke a slow and agonizing death in this manner. I uh, saw a case like this once before. It was a while back now, in the 90s, I think. Exactly the same. Three stabs around the heart, each one cutting a main artery. It really struck me at the time. I wondered how such a thing were possible. It was the, um, what was that name again? Karsten or Kirsten, something like that. Kirsten? Yes, that's it, Kirsten. You know about that case? Not yet. But I'm sure as hell gonna find out. Come in. H hello, Detective. Hello, Mrs. Morrison. Thanks for taking the trouble to come down. Please, take a seat. Now, we're going to try and assemble a composite photo of the suspect you saw. We have a computer program to help us. You'll see, it's really simple. It's kind of like a video game. Have you ever played a video game, Mrs. Morrison? No. Ah, it doesn't matter. You're going to do fine. The most important thing is to try to remember exactly what happened. The program consists of several types of facial features. You scroll through them until it looks like the man you saw. You understand? Yes. Well, I think I do. Okay. Let's go.
Now, is this the face of the person you saw? Yes. At least, th that's how I remember him. Thank you very much for your help. We're gonna get this picture out to all the airports, trains, and bus stations, and to all of our patrolmen. If this guy is still in New York, we're gonna find him. And go buy yourself a video game. I felt empty. After what happened at the office, I began to wonder if I wasn't going nuts. I'm so totally exhausted that I can't fall asleep. I'm afraid of the dreams I might have. I wander around the room a little. I guess I'll go to sleep when I can't keep my eyes open any longer. Thus spoke Zarathustra by Nietzsche. I've read it so many times I know half of it by heart. my stuff. I hope I'm not disturbing you. No, I'm just a little bit sleepy. Come in. Have a seat. Want something to drink? I think there's still a bottle of gin laying around in the kitchen somewhere, if you want. Yeah, I'd love some. Thanks. So, how's life? I'm pretty swamped with work at the hospital right now, and I'm not completely moved in yet, but I'm doing fine. I'll go and get your stuff. It's just two boxes. I'm not sure exactly where they'd be now, but they shouldn't be too hard to find. Uh, they've got my initials on them.
My parents, Marcus and me, before the accident. Here they are. I think that's everything. Is everything okay, Lucas? You look stressed. I had a few health problems, but I I'm better now. That's good. Hey, I, I miss you, you know? I miss you too. Are you... are you with anybody? I'm sorry, I shouldn't be asking you that. No, no, it's okay, I don't mind. No, I'm still alone. And you? Yeah, I'm alone too. I've had a little trouble getting over you. You still playing? You know, I really haven't even thought about it lately. Play a couple of notes for me, will ya? You know. In memory of the good times? Okay, sure.
fills my bed with gasoline You think I would have noticed Her mind's made up The love is gone You think someone's trying to show us a sign That even if we thought it would last The moment would pass My bones will break and my heart won't give Oh, it hurts to live Little girl again. She seems so real. I must be losing my mind. You okay, Lucas? I I'm fine, Tiffany. I'm, I'm just fine. The report from the morgue kept me up all night. Rather than answering any questions, it just added new ones. Did the murderer intentionally give the victim a slow, painful death? Is there any link to the mysterious Kirsten case? Who sent me that email about Kirsten and why? This training session with Tyler is just what I need. I need to cleanse my spirit and just breathe a little. Damn, you look a little out of it, Carla. You sure you're cool? I'm fine. Why wouldn't I be? Okay. Let's warm up a little, then go for it. Let me know when you're ready. Okay. Sounds good. One. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. One last set, and I'll be ready to fight. I'm warmed up. I'm ready to get in the ring.
You ready, Tyler? Yo, what's your hurry? Just let me warm up a little more. I'll be right with you. Yo, I need to do my whole warm-up routine in order to get really ready. Better than that, Carter's gonna mess my shit up. Yo, I need to do my whole warm-up routine in order to get really ready. Ready to get in the ring. Hey Tyler, while well, we're still young, okay? Just a sec, I'll be right there. Pretty good shape this morning. One more set and I'll be ready to get in the ring.
gentlemen, welcome to Las Vegas for tonight's match between Terrible Tyler Miles and Killer Carla Valenti. Oh yeah, and who's always kicking out the crap about me acting like a kid all the time? I was raised in a Shaolin monastery, and the monks taught me all the evil secrets of Kung Fu. What? No shit? Man, Tyler, you don't believe anything I tell you. Yo, nothing about you surprises me now, woman. You want to go again? <sighs> no, I'm done. I'm gonna grab a shower and get back to work. Can't get that restaurant murder out of your head, huh? I just feel like there's a piece of the puzzle missing. You're busting your head for nothing. The guy's a psycho. End of story. Yeah, maybe. I just want to find him and make sure he never does it again. We'll get him. Guy who leaves that much evidence behind on a murder one, he's gonna slip up somewhere. I hope it's that simple, Tyler. I really do. Ten years. Ten years since my parents were killed in a car accident. I've never completely recovered from losing them. You never really get over something like that. Considering all that's been happening to me lately, I thought maybe I should go and meditate at their grave a little this morning.
I'm happy that you could come.